What's going on guys? Journey to the Moon. I'm your host Josh Barr and another amazing day in the crypto space. 87 billion market cap at the rate we're going. We're going to be at 100 billion in a couple weeks and before you know it. So I'm, I'm going to scroll down here. Look, look at all this green right here. All this green. I mean you really cannot lose money at this point. Okay we got Pivx at 1% and scroll down. Scroll down. Infinite coin. Negative 35. Let's keep going. Fedora coin. Negative 25. Ethereal. And that's it. Four coins. Four coins out of 100. I mean, you could really throw a dart at this thing and make money. <laughs> Just another amazing day in the crypto space, right? And uh, let me see here. We got Lucky Chain pumping at. You know, thirteen hundred here. I mean, they're just they're just throwing money over here, people. I mean, I don't know how you're gonna lose money. So uh, cr crazy times, I'm telling you, crazy times. <clears throat> so I came across this article here: the eighty billion dollar question: Why is Bitcoin and Ethereum growing so fast? And as I as I rolled through it, actually, I I was reading some other articles before I found it, but when I saw this article, I was kind of reading through it. The value of digital money. So what's happening? You know, Japan's a big reason why, and I was gonna get into it right now. And obviously everything's going parabolic here. If you look at the charts, uh, but as it, I'll, I'll put a link below and you can read the article. Uh, but I did I like I did like this one quote where the guy was the guy was saying, um, "I would not advise anyone to buy crypto coins right now." I'm worried that, that the lack of rationality at this point might hurt the market, said Hater. And yes, the man said, the guy's name is Hater. Don't buy crypto coins right now. So go ahead, let's FUD the market. And <laughs> I'll, I'll buy them. So moving on, obviously we know about Ethereum, the Ethereum Alliance, and how they added 80 new six members uh, a couple days ago. Obviously, this, this article is written on the 23rd, but I think the other 80, the other members they added were like on the 21st. So back in February, we knew about, I think I'm lagging here. Back in February, we knew about the original members, Microsoft, Intel, JP Morgan, Chase, which pumped Ethereum from like 20 to like 40 in a matter of days. And now it seems that they have, 86 new members to the Ethereum Alliance, which is very interesting. And Toyota is one of them, along with the, the Bank of Canada or something like that. Now, and it just, it just you know, I, I wish the hater here would tell these big corporations to stop buying crypto coins right now and see what he's going to tell these 86 new members. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of funny. It's also I also find interesting how J.P. Morgan, Chase are going to use the Zcash technology. Technology, so um, I guess they're going to use Zcash for one aspect and Ethereum for another. Uh, just interesting. They're they're adopting more cryptocurrency besides just Ethereum, and obviously we saw Zcash uh, pump nicely as well you gonna find it here wow 270 oh man ethereum 200 what a great day what an amazing day in the crypto space now the 80 billion dollar question right to to answer the question you know what's going on obviously there's a lot going on in the crypto space it's not more than one thing but obviously the whole segwit and the, the 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 answer to the scaling issue is near one of the answers and Charlie Sherm just buy it stop asking questions just buy it so there's a lot of segwit and uh, adding to uh, adding to the the price speculation here and the, the scaling issues you may have there's another article here talking about the consensus and how they they found some answers to the scaling issues so segwit plus the consensus is adding a lot of price speculation 
And another one that is huge for me is just Japan just full on embracing Bitcoin with the 10 new exchanges. Obviously, this was the beginning of the month. And then, so it's one thing for, for Japan to add the exchanges to people to buy Bitcoin. And there's, it's also the next level where 300,000 Japanese stores would be or are willing to ex accept Bitcoin Bitcoin payment payments for this this um, this mass adoption of Japan uh, making it easier for people to buy Bitcoin. So we got Ethereum, the Ethereum Alliance, right? Pumping more money into Ethereum. JP Morgan is still gonna is. Is going to experiment with another cryptocurrency as well. Japan with full on adoption. I mean, there's a lot of the SegWit, SegWit speculations. You know, crazy, oh, 1 million Bitcoin price speculation. So there, there's a lot going on. And as you look at today's chart, I mean, obviously, this is not every day. This is not every day. <laughs> but out of the 100 coins, only four of them are bleeding. I mean, I don't say any, anybody can make money. I mean, anybody can lose money too. Uh, but are we in a bubble? You know, are we in a bubble? That's another interesting question as well. But why don't you ask the, the, the members of the Theorem Alliance if we're in a bubble or not? Interesting time, interesting times. Buy, buy, sell, or hold. Let me know what you think. Hold on to your Bitcoin or listen to the, the hater and, and don't buy any Bitcoin. Where's this guy? I just love that quote, man. Let's see. I would not advise anyone to buy crypto coins right now. I'm worried. <laughs> well, that's the news for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe to know what you think. Are you buying? you holding? Are you flooding? you selling? How high is Bitcoin going to go? And until then, I'll see you on the moon.